Today we're reading in the Gospel of John, and I'm going to be particularly in John chapter 6, so the very beginning, uh, where Jesus feeds this crowd of 5,000 people. So read with me. It says, After this, Jesus went away to the other side of the Sea of Galilee, which is the Sea of Tiberias. And a large crowd was following him, because they saw the signs that he was doing on the sick. And so Jesus went up to the mountain, and there he sat down with his disciples. Now the Passover, the feast of the Jews, was also at hand. And lifting up his eyes then, and seeing the large crowd, Jesus said to Philip, Where are we to buy bread so that these people may eat? He said this to test him, for he himself knew what they would do. And Philip replied, Two hundred denarii worth of bread would not be enough for each of them to get a little. And one of the disciples, Andrew, Simon Peter's brother, said to them, There's a boy here with five barley loaves and two fish, but what are they for so many? And Jesus said, Have the people sit down. And now there was much grass in the place, so the men sat down, about five thousand in number. And Jesus then took the loaves which he had given thanks for, and then distributed them to those who were seated. So also the fish, as much as they wanted. And when they had eaten their fill, he told his disciples to gather up the leftover fragments, that nothing may be lost. So they gathered them up and filled them twelve baskets with fragments from the five barley loaves left by those who had eaten. And when the people saw the sign that he had done, they said, This is indeed the prophet who is to come into the world. When I was still in Bible college, I was at a little church in Maysville, Kentucky called Highland Christian Church. It was a church of no more than about 110 people surrounded by farmland in Maysville, Kentucky. And it was uh, just, there were some really great people that attended that church. And this little church had a jar that sat outside the sanctuary doors where each week after service, people would walk by and fill it with their loose change. They would put quarters or pennies or a few dollar bills in here, some 20s, 5s, 50s. Uh, You would find an assortment of money in this jar, but people would give what they had extra that week into the jar each Sunday morning. And then that jar would be used to go into the community and help those in need. There was one week where that jar was used to uh, help make sure somebody had a place to stay. There was another week that jar was used to make sure that someone had food on their table that week. There was another week that jar was used to pay for someone's electric bill. It was used over and over and over again for great needs needs that loose pocket change on its own couldn't cover. But when the loose pocket change of everyone was brought together, God multiplied it and did amazing things with it to bless people and further his kingdom. And that's what I love about this story with Jesus, is that he takes what this one boy has to offer his just five loaves of bread and two fish, and he multiplies it to feed 5,000 men This giant crowd of people Jesus feeds with one boy's lunch. Because the thing I love about that is that God's resources in his storehouses, they're full. And he says that when we're willing to give, he will do amazing things with it. And so each one of us is called to give and to be generous. And that's what I love about this boy is that he didn't have a lot to give but he gave what he could and God did an amazing miracle through it. And so the challenge I think for me and for you is that when we hear of a need and we say we have nothing left to give, I'd wonder how often that's true. Maybe we don't have a large sum of money to give, but maybe we have some spare pocket change that we could use and that combined with others will do a great thing. And so my hope is that you remember that it's not about how much you give. Sometimes all you can give is five pieces of bread and some fish. But through that, God will do an amazing thing. And he will multiply that to further his kingdom if you have the willingness to give. Have a great week.